How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with another rigged game. This one was made for fun, for the sake of fun, and it's based on Barnacle's Nerdgasm. Now, Barnacle's Nerdgasm is a YouTube channel I enjoy watching. I love seeing the tech stuff. I love the 3D printing stuff that he does. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if he 3D printed a Nintendo cartridge, but I would provide the game for him to play? And naturally, that game would be a hack starring him. We ended up changing almost all of the characters in this game, and I'm totally cool with that. So let's see how many YouTube personalities you can also find in this Barnacle's Super Mario Brothers hack. We'll just kind of go through the game here. So you'll see some graphical changes like exclamation points instead of question marks. Now, first and foremost, for the Goombas, we have Alpha Omega Sin. This was his idea. Now, I didn't think too highly of this one myself, but he wanted the Super Mushroom to be a bag of McDonald's food because that's what makes him grow. Now, you know what? It's his game, so I'll go ahead and make it happen. Now, because the Super Shroom and the 1-Up Shroom are the same graphic, it's going to be the same bag of McDonald's food. Now, what once was a Koopa is now John Hancock. You remember him from the Blow em Out for Sea Jack game? I just used the same graphics. That was easy enough. And at the end of each level, instead of raising the flag on top of the castle, hey, that's me with a big old thumbs up. Yeah, I'm not a big YouTube celebrity, but I'll put myself in this game, why not? Now, if you're familiar with Barnacle's Nerdgasm, you're gonna like what the Fire Flower is. It's Bat Knife, naturally. He's also into Bitcoin mining, so all the coins are now Bitcoins. A couple other graphic changes because the fireballs are the same graphic for whether you're throwing them or whether they're in the dungeon. So now, yeah, when you're in the dungeon, it's now a chain of Bat Knives. That's way worse than Fireballs to me. Do you have any guesses on who Bowser could be? If you guessed Metal Jesus, you'd be correct. This was also Barnacle's idea. And instead of Toad at the end of each level, you see Kinsey. You also might know her from the Metal Jesus channel. She'll greet you with a beer in each hand. If you ever see Kinsey in real life, she probably also has a beer in each hand. A few other characters in the game swimming around. We have the big JB. You see him on the Metal Jesus channel, usually talking about Blizzard stuff. The other fish is Jason Heine of EMU Review. He has a great channel too. You should check it out. Only because I wanted to have someone with a ponytail, I chose Pete Dorr with a ponytail. That is one invincible ponytail right there. And one of my favorite characters. And who do you think we're leaving out? Who could the Hammer Brothers be? It'd be our good friend, Gamester81, checking Coleco vision cards at you. Got kind of a funny story about that too. Barnacles was saying, oh, we got to put Gamester81 in there as a villain. And I argued, how could you possibly make Gamester81 a villain? He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He's so humble. He's so down to earth. I told Gamester81 about this and he said he was honored. So I guess we'll take it. And that leaves us with one character left, the princess. Who do you think could be Princess Peach at the end of the game? Now, because the hammers from the Hammer Brothers sprite are the same hammers that Bowser chucks at you, now it's Metal Jesus throwing ColecoVision cards or Atari cards at you, either way. And then finally, at the end of the game, Barnacle saves his princess, Brittany from BlondeNerd.com, with a big thumbs up and wings for everyone. <laughs> awesome. Again, this game was made for fun, for the sake of fun. Make sure you follow and subscribe to Barnacle's Nerdgasm. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. And watch out for another rigged game coming out sometime in the near future. Who knows who's going to star in the next one?